You don't need to go to Niagara Falls when you can eat some fry balls. What is up, Diecast Collectors and Diecast Reviewers on YouTube? Welcome to the NASCAR Diecast News Show, hosted by me, our original big fly, as always. Well, guys, a moment of truth is finally here. As you guys know, the Diecast season started last week, and I was uh, really happy about that. But now, after a long uh, two to three month off season, NASCAR is finally back, and it all kicks off with the Sprint Unlimited tonight at 8 o'clock. I'm hoping a lot of you guys are going to be watching that as I am. Go nine, go. Uh, I almost said ninety nine. Wow, I'm way off season. Uh, <laughs> go nineteen for uh, Carl Edwards. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that, guys. So NASCAR season's here. That's awesome. But the NASCAR season in as well. We got some new diecasts as well, including some uh, new diecasts from not only from Lady Sales, but also possibly some uh, sneak previews of uh, some other diecasts that are coming up that we got some pictures from Daytona from uh, some fans. So. We're going to be taking a look at that, all the latest info and more as the NASCAR Diecast News starts right now. But before we go and do that, guys, let's take a look at the best-selling diecasts that were from last week's video. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so this is it, guys. Uh, NASCAR season's here, and Daytona Speed Weeks is here as well, guys. But we got some newly released diecasts, so let's, uh, we're not really gonna go into much info on the newly released diecast. I mean, uh, most of the cars that mostly came out, I mean, the Dale Jr. Nationwide car, same thing as last year, just with the, uh, Nation, just with the National Guard logo taken off. But, uh, you know, it's going to be a cool car to have since that's the new main sponsor for this year. Ryan and the Quicken's loans is the same as this year. And both are on the PTC mode. And then we have the Xfinity car. Chase Elliott. The Xfinity car. And that's all I got to say, man. Um, uh, not too much of a difference. You know, he's got Chase Elliott's no longer rookie. And he's uh, an Xfinity champion now. So that's pretty cool right there. Hopefully we'll see maybe a little more uh, Xfinity cars coming out later soon. Um, but, um, yeah, uh, not too really much on pre-orders, but however, I am pretty excited about the, uh, Speed Stick car by Cole Witt. If you guys now know, uh, Cole Witt, you know, he was driving for Swan Racing last year, and now, he, uh, he had no ride, but now, he's with Front Row Motorsports, and you guys guessed it, yep, they made every Front Row Motorsports car so far, um, from 2013 to 2014, well, a good, a good majority, I'm not saying, like, every one. But um, they have been getting a lot of licenses for it, and it's really cool. I like how they uh, do these small teams. Hopefully this car won't get canceled, maybe it'll get made, because uh, that's a pretty unique and cool car. But like I said, I really am um, kind of excited for any of these um, smaller teams to come out. You know, you got the Michael and uh, uh, Michael McDowell car, and the uh, yeah, Trevon um, financial car. And then, uh, you know, we got a couple others that I'm not going to say. Um, so... Pretty interesting. I'm hoping we get any more underfunded cars as the season goes on. But yeah, guys, and let's go on to the cancellations before I get to the last topic, uh, which will be that preview. But yeah, uh, not too big on cancellations. Um, the Matt, Ke uh, now not to scare you guys, um, there was a cancellation for the Matt Kenza $2015 General, but not for 124 nor 164. No, it will be the 124 Elites. And if you have no idea what the hell the Elites are, then, um, I feel sorry for you. <laughs> but basically, they are just like the 124s, but they have a higher amount, uh, they have a lot more decent quality than the usual 124s that we usually get. So, uh, if you're worried, if you're, um, willing to pay the extra, you know, 50 more bucks than, like, it is already, um, yeah. <laughs> but unfortunately, it will not be for the Matt Kenzie Dot Dental Car, but not the too big. They're still making 124 by 64, so not too big on about that. Not a. Uh, big disappointment of the cancellation. But yeah, guys, I did make a little mistake on uh, last week's so one of our uh, cancellations last week, you know, with all the Xfinity crap, all the cancellations that happened. But, um, 
had apparently a diecast cast save, apparently, or otherwise I made a, a clueless error, but the Kevin Harvey Chaos 15 un, um, armor Vienna Sausages uh, diecast is still going to be made in 124 and 64. That is not cancelled, so sorry for that little error, guys. Um, I could have sworn I saw an online O racing form for DMP notifications, but apparently maybe they took it down, or maybe I just didn't... Uh, Maybe I uh, misconcepted it, but yeah, sorry about that, guys. But uh, oh, that's uh, pretty rare to see an um, Xfinity car get saved or any, I guess. So that was a little rare occasion that happened. Hopefully, that won't happen again. But yeah, guys, now we're gonna go to the last topic of the show. And um, oh wait, I also got something to say about uh, one of our pre-orders. Um, if you guys remember the Clint Boyer Pete car, now I'm gonna do kind of a little uh, rant about here. Well, let's just get straight to the point. The Clint 4164 P car will be on a base. Now you're wondering, what the heck does that mean? Peak is not an alcohol, which I'm hoping it's not, but that nah, Peak is a damn motor one. So you're probably wondering, why in God's name hell do they have it on the base? Well, I'll tell you, you guys remember, they didn't make a 5 hour energy 164 car last year because of license issues. Well, now we actually know what the real purpose is, guys. So apparently, fiber energy is starting to become a lot of, starting to become regulated now. It's a very, um, basically, fiber energy is a not alcohol. It's a um, energy drink that has a lot of caffeine in it, and it gets you going. You know, and it's an energy drink. It's supposed to let you do that, but it has the highest amount of caffeine than any other energy drink has. But uh, apparently, they don't want kids drinking that because it's not suitable for them. And I think that's a good marketing program, you know, <laughs> don't market the kids, <laughs> that's good, especially with their new form that they have that they have on the card, so, I don't know, but, um, yeah, I mean, they, 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 what, what, what's that deal? It's not like the kids are going to go out and be like, hey, I'm going to get some 5 hour energy because this car says I should, you know, kids are not vulnerable, but, you know. You can never uh, read a child's mind, but still, I mean, for any, uh, for, for any of our bigger, for any, uh, you know, mature guys like me and Race Day 2011 and Dave and Land Diecast Reviews, you know, all those guys who do their diecast shopping, including you guys who are uh, some of our, some of our uh, mature audiences, uh, it, it is pretty preposterous that they do that, you know? I'm not a big fan of the base cars, you know? Uh, especially with Kellogg's today, that was so freaking stupid with the 124s. I'm going to say that right now. But, and, uh, I, I don't know, guys. Uh, I guess we're just going to have to deal with it. Not too much of a big deal. I mean, just rip that base off and we're all set. But just um, another step down the line for the Clint Warrior diecast. Too bad we're not going to see a fiber energy diecast probably ever made. So if you guys have the 2013 one, 4 you're in luck because that car is pretty rare now. <laughs> But yeah, guys, now we're going to go on to the last topic, and we got some previews for um, some next diecasts that are coming out. So our uh, first ones come from eBay, and one of our good one of our uh, good fans from Instagram, Dylan Three Fan, uh, showed us a photo from uh, eBay, and it turns out some dealers have the uh, Brachizalski 2015 Miller Lite car. And look at this car. This car is on the Elmo, and I have to admit that is pretty cool since they really screwed up uh, that version of the car, the white version from last year, as it was on the hideously WLS ball. Ooh, so really glad they did that. The next photo comes out with um, from another one of our good fans from uh, Instagram at Coke Cola Motorsports. He is at the Daytona Five. He is at the Daytona Motor Speed right now. About to watch the uh, spring on limited. So uh, hope uh, you hope uh, you Coke Cola Motorsports and everybody else out there is having a good time and hopefully getting more surprises for us. But if you look at this guy, yeah. The Trevor Bain uh, Avocare Sprint Cup car is now apparently out at the tracks. Same with the uh, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Fastenal car. And both those cars are on the yellow mold. So it looks like we're going to have another year of like, okay, we're going to put these cars in PTCs and we're going to put these cars in the yellow. It's completely random now. And I think that's not the line that Lionel's going into. I mean, um, so it's going to be pretty much random. We are not going to know what diecast is which. But pretty cool that they sent these pictures. So thank you for that. If you guys got any more surprises for us here on the Diecast News, please uh, share it with us. You know, we'll put it up on Instagram, and uh, you guys can get noticed. And hell, we can all talk about this more on NASCARDiecastNews.com and our Instagram and our Facebook. So, yep, guys, that's about it with the Diecast News. Hopefully, uh, you guys enjoyed this video. 
If you guys please give it a comment, like it. If you guys haven't already, subscribe for more of the diecast news or anything diecast out there. So uh, check us out. We have our own website, Facebook page, and Instagram. All info, as you know, um, wherever you find info, <laughs> in the description, of course. But anyways, guys, we'll see you guys next time here for the diecast news for any more diecast to come. And hopefully you guys are going to enjoy the Toto Speed Weeks. Looking forward to the Sprint Unlimited, and we'll see you guys next time, possibly next week, with the Daytona 500. Go NASCAR, and go NASCAR Diecast News.